Today's Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, First Community Financial Bank. The community bank where you come first. My first guest today is Little Friends. So I'd like to welcome Christy Landoff. She is the CEO and president of Little Friends. And then I have our good friend Ray McGurry, who is a recent board member to Little Friends, as well as the executive director of the Park District. And I have Renee McClossick, and she is the manager of special events at Little Friends. So welcome, guys. I'm glad to have you with us. Good to be here. Thank you. Thanks for good. having us. Christy, let's start with you. Remind us all a little bit about what Little Friends is all about and what you do in the community. Absolutely. We are a nonprofit based in Naperville. We serve adults and children with autism and other developmental disabilities across more than 37 single family homes in the area. 800 adults and children every day are supported in a variety of settings, including those homes, three schools, vocational programming, our serendipity resale shop in downtown Naperville, and color burst screen printing as well. That is a <coughs> lot of stuff. It is. It's a lot. It is. Ray, tell us, you've just joined the board. What drew you to the board at Little Friends? Um, it, was, it was obviously an easy decision to make when Dan Casey, our board president for Little Friends, called um, and said, you know, we have an opening on the board. Would you be interested? It took me about two seconds to say yes. Um, I have a background, obviously, with um, a family member who had special needs for many years and as the, was the past uh, president of Wedger, Western DuPage Special mm -hmm. Rec Association. I have a passion for helping those with uh, special needs, and so I was more than delighted to, to serve in any capacity they could use me. I was actually frankly surprised they even asked me to, <laughs> <laughs> to be on the board. I was like, you must be really be desperate. But, uh, but no, seriously, I, uh, I'm so honored to, to be a part of this fine organization and these two fine young ladies, obviously, that run the organization. Uh, you know, it's just quality, quality services for those that I always say got uh, the short end of the stick. And uh, they really, really, the organization and under Christie's leadership certainly try to even that out the best they can for the people in the community, not only this community, but you know, the surrounding communities as well. Oh, that's great. Well, they need people like you on the board. Renee, tell us a little bit about the programming that you're doing there at Little Friends, because you have a wide variety of things that you're we, doing. We do, and we have a very busy calendar, but this particular time of year, we're doing so many different things in so many different realms. Um, we have a Giving Tree program that will launch um, within the next week or so. <clears throat> And that is, just like any other traditional Giving Tree program, we hang tags on over 20 different businesses all throughout the western suburbs. You pick up a tag that has a specific gift request for one of our clients that we have deemed in need, whether it's because of financial circumstances at home or maybe they're older clients and they don't have family that are supporting them, the parents have passed on or they have brothers and sisters that live out of state, and they wouldn't normally have the Christmas that you and I and a lot of the people that we know take for granted. Um, we have an Adopt-A-Family program as well that is um, a spin-off of that Giving Tree program and this program is for families that are really in dire need. Um, the great news is for 2014, all four families that we have identified as being in need have been adopted, but we have dozens of ways that organizations and individuals can help little friends throughout the holidays. It's incredible, the amount of stuff that you're doing with that, and at, at a lot of different levels. I mean, those that are really desperate and those that just need a little bit of a, a, a more pleasurable Correct. holiday yes. season. That's great. Tell us a little bit, too, about you've got the Parade of Lights coming up. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, that is the, uh, the official kickoff to the holiday shopping season in downtown Naperville. Um, it's taking place on Sunday, November 30th. Um, thanks to our wonderful partnership with Katie Wood and the Downtown Naperville Alliance, um, we're able to have a very large parade. Um, it's grown every year, and this year we're looking at more than 50 organizations that are going to participate that day. I think that's a great testament to the good work that you're doing. That so many people want to come out and support it. And I think the other thing that's interesting is you've got a big anniversary coming up. We do. We yeah. are approaching our 50th anniversary in 2015. Uh, Little Friends at its roots is a community-based organization started by families who wanted their children and their loved ones to be a part of the Naperville community. Now we've been doing that for 50 years and we've grown to being one of the premier diagnostic clinics. And so 2015 for us is all about celebrating everything we have done and everything we hope to do. 
That's great. And Ray, now you're on the committee, right, for the uh, 50th anniversary. Give us, give us a little <coughs> bit of an idea of the kinds of things that you guys might be doing. Well, um, you know, Christine and her team assembled a great cross-section of people throughout the Naperville community to serve uh, on this committee. And, and really what we're trying to do is just um, give more exposure to little friends and to what they do on a day in and day out uh, basis. I always use the word perspective. And when you feel like you're having a bad day, mm -hmm. you really got to check your, 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 your attitude a little bit and put things in perspective. Um, when you spend a day, as I did, or half a day with, with Christy and some of her uh, team at Little Friends, and you just see the, the work that they do and the conditions that they work in and the people that they serve and just, just the astronomical things that they have to go through to help um, a family that you know, is dealing with an autistic child and adult, both sometimes. Um, we really, really want to get out into this community, and the community knows who little friends are, are and they know the, the great work that they do, but um, 50 years of just doing phenomenal work for people and changing people's lives, this committee is committed to pushing that message out and to looking for financial help, volunteerism, whatever people are willing to do. Um, and financial help does help. I mean, there's a lot of great organizations that need um, help in this community. Uh, this is one of them. And, and, and you know, writing a check or making a donation is, is, is bigger than you'd ever can imagine for little friends. Sure. Um, so we're the faces of little friends, which might not be a good thing. In fact, <laughs> your viewers might not just go, they just ripped up the check. <clears throat> so don't use this face, please. Um, we'll pick these other two. Yeah, use these other two faces. No. Don't use this yeah. face. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, I think it's going to be a great, uh, great year ahead for us. That's wonderful. So at 50, 50 years, <clears throat> Get involved. Come on out to the uh, downtown uh, Parade of Lights on November 30th at 5 yes. o'clock. It's going to be a fabulous yes. time. It yes. really is. And we thank you for all the great work that you're doing in the community. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be right back. Uh, we're taking a short break, so stay tuned. <laughs> 